Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, good morning. I hope you guys are doing good today. As promised, I told you guys when I can't come on camera, I will try and do some voiceovers. So I have a few voiceovers to give y'all today. Um, so it's been a lot of drama. I've had a lot of folks hitting me up, wanting me to talk about the whole Cardi B situation. If you guys don't know, she's currently beefing with the barbs, okay? So it's a lot of fuck shit going on, and I'm going to go ahead and break it down to y'all. I know some of y'all feel like I'm on Cardi B's payroll, which is comical to me because if she's cutting me a check, damn it, the bitch is late, okay? I have not been paid by her or Atlantic yet, and I need my damn money. But anyhow, so if you guys do not know, Cardi B just recently dropped her new single called Money. Now, her new single was not supposed to drop until October 26th. She'd been promoting it and everything else. And then all of a sudden, she went onto Instagram yesterday and posted new pictures of herself and everything else. And she said that her new single was dropping. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and check this out. Because you guys know I'm always down to, you know, put new music on my, you know, iTunes and listen to new music. I listen every day body okay cardi to damn little yachty to damn Nicki minaj little wayne i listen to it all because that's what i do okay so anyhow um people were shocked like hold up cardi why is this being released so early this wasn't supposed to be out till you know thursday or friday what's going on and so at that point she decided to address it and she was calling out the barbs she said that the barbs basically leaked it and you know when she posts anything on her page they're usually the first ones there to throw hate and shade and everything else so go ahead and check out this clip of cardi b going off about the barbs check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary try to retract it but you know the barbs they always posting me. They always post everything I do. You know what I'm saying? They claim they hate me, but they really love me because they be on my page before my fans. They be um, everything that I do. Page before my fans. They be um, everything that I do. They be on it before <laughs> my fans. So clearly, that seems like love to me. Seems like you love me. So it's like, fuck it. I can't retract that. Might as well put it out. I hope y'all enjoying the record. All right, so you guys just heard what Cardi B had to say. So, of course, that caused a lot of controversy, okay? Um, Nicki Minaj has not spoken out, but, you know, one of the Barty gang members, one of the ones I fuck with, okay, my homegirl, a lot of them don't want to be named, but um, she sent me this clip this morning, and I fell the hell out, you know what I mean? Like I said, I have no dog in this fight, but if people want to, you know, say I'm biased, it is what it is. But, um, you know, Nicki hasn't said anything, but if Nicki wanted to say something, this is probably what Nicki Minaj would have said. Check this out. Oh well, that's what the fuck y'all get. Leave me the fuck alone. Shut the fuck up. My fans be minding their own business. My fans will really mind their business if y'all will leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> All right, so y'all just heard what Nikki had to say. She said, if y'all leave her the fuck alone, the barbs will leave you alone, okay? So anyhow, this morning, everything went to a head because now Cardi B is calling out uh, Kyle Anthony. I believe that's his last name. He is a writer on The Shade Room. And as we all know, Cardi B has had issues with The Shade Room for a while. She feels like they're biased. They always post negative stories about her and Offset. They never talk about when she's doing good on the charts or when her new music comes out. It's always like, you know real shady stuff, um, which kind of makes sense because they're called uh, the shade room, okay? So she's addressing this, and she's also accusing Kyle Anthony of running this page. And I've been seeing this page. A lot of you guys send me content from this page. Um, it's a fan page. It's called That's So Beyonce. But what I find curious about the page is that they barely post about Beyonce. Like, I thought it was a Beyonce fan page, but it's kind of turned into like a Cardi B bashing fan page. And she's upset about that. And she feels like one of the writers on The Shade Room, Kyle, he's behind that page. Um, because him and Nicki Minaj are very close. Um, he's been out there partying with Nicki. I believe he got invited to her listening party and stuff like that. So he he makes it no secret that he's definitely a barb. And so she's going off about this this morning. And I posted this on my Instagram. And it's causing a lot of dialogue. So y'all go ahead and check out what Cardi B had to say about The Shade Room. And Kyle, check this out. Sorry, I did it again. And I hope y'all like the record and everything. I got mad people harassing me under my page and shit because, you know, I brung out, uh, I said these people, um, 
these people are always under my comments. And it's like, did I lie? And you know, the shade room, of course, they posted it because, you know, the biggest Barb is one of his, the writers that, you know, he don't fucking like me. You know, Kyle, he don't fucking like me and I don't give a fuck. But it's the truth, though. Like, it's like, yo, sometimes I don't be online, right? And I got, and I got proof that my fans, they be sending me shit. These people constantly, these Barb's constantly doing fake rumors of me. Um... Editing likes that about me, editing comments about me, editing mad shit about me, constantly talking about me. You will go to one of their pages and they are this and that. Y'all only want to do that so y'all can say, look, we're not biased. No. Uh, was y'all posting, posting any positive shit in the past six months? Y'all ain't posted when I went number one. Y'all don't post it every single time that I do successful shit on the charts. Y'all don't. But every single time there's a little rumor, y'all be so thirsty to post it. So I know the type of games that y'all play. I don't fucking like y'all. And I'm going to keep saying it. Yeah, like, you know. And uh, my fan pages told me that Kyle did a fake page called That's So Beyonce or That's So Whatever Shady. Doing fake page, talking shit about me. And it's like... You're, you're, you're a fucking, you're like a stan. It's like, to me, that's unprofessional because how you a journalist, but you're doing stan shit. So don't post me on that page, period. The fuck? I don't care. Like, I'm so sick of having my mouth quiet. I've been having my mouth quiet ever since I've been pregnant. There's so much shit that's been spread about me. There's so much bullshit that bitches been saying about me. And I've been... All right, so you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. So then shortly after that video went viral on Instagram, Kyle took to Instagram and he basically, you know, went on and he defended himself. You know, he's like, I'm in the offices of the shade room. How do I have time to run this other Instagram page that's bashing you? What are you talking about? So Kyle took up for himself. He was accused of running this page a few months ago. So he's addressing it for the second time. Y'all go ahead and check out what Kyle of the shade room had to say. Check this out. What's up guys? So I've been hearing a lot of rumors that I'm behind this That's So Beyonce page and I've cleared that rumor up I think what two months ago I believe I am not behind that page I have a college degree from Pepperdine University a journalism degree I'm here in the office the shade room office every single day doing my work writing stories going home I deal with personal struggles got my own issues I don't have time to sit around and be buying fake pages and trust me, I have asked this page to publicly say I am not behind it. And they have said it over and over again. I am not behind this page. It is annoying that I have to keep addressing this. And it's annoying that y'all keep trying to put me in something that has nothing to do with me. All right, so you guys just saw what Kyle had to say. So, you know, at this point in time, you know me, you know me being the bootleg journalist that I am, okay? Um, I do have journalistic integrity, so I wanted to find out, you know, is Kyle behind this? You know what I'm saying? Is bro lying? You know, he seems believable, but again, you know, a lot of people seem damn believable. Is he telling the damn truth? So me and another um, Barty gang member, you know, a lot of y'all think that people um, just stand for people blindly and they don't. So me and another one of my um, tea sippers who's also a Barty gang member, um, she was doing research and she sent me some information and I truly feel like, okay, yes, Kyle is definitely, you know, somewhat biased. Let's keep it real. He's definitely a Nicki Minaj fan. Let's keep it real. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, I follow Cardi and I don't follow Nicki Minaj. You know what I mean? And that's my right. Just like he follows Nicki Minaj and he doesn't follow Cardi. You know what I mean? People have the right to follow who they want to follow, to rock with who they want to rock with. You know, so I'm not going to knock him for that. Um, but upon further investigation, me and this Barty gang member... Um, we feel like Cardi has the wrong person, okay? Cardi was saying that it's Kyle, but we've come to the conclusion that it's not Kyle running that page at all. We believe that it's a guy called Khalil and maybe Cardi B because both their names start with a K. She mixed it up. And one thing about me, I don't like to see somebody being accused of something, especially something false. And especially the way these fandoms act and attack people. I've been attacked countlessly over the past few weeks by barbs who are constantly in their feelings over bullshit. You know, so I know how that shit feels. And he doesn't need to be attacked by Barty gang members when there's really no truth to what's being said. So from what we research, um, me and this other Barty gang member, so this person is definitely not being biased. 
And, you know, my thing is if Cardi wants to accuse people of certain things, she needs to make sure she accuses the right people. Again, is that saying that Kyle has never thrown shade or done things behind the scenes? I'm not saying that. I don't know what all goes on behind the scenes there. But what I'm saying that in this instance, in this particular situation, um, we really believe that he's not behind the That's So Beyonce page. The person that we believe is behind that page is a guy called That's So Khalil. And I've seen some of his postings before when I've had to do stories on Nikki and um, Cardi and stuff like that. Basically, we kind of came to the conclusion that both page names, they do sound very similar and literally they clown Cardi B all day long. They do the same thing over and over and we just don't believe it's a coincidence. Um, they also both announced that they're doing podcasts. And on the That's So Beyonce page, they said that they're starting a podcast, but they won't be using their, you know, their voice. They need somebody to do their voiceovers. He also announced that he's also going to be doing a podcast as well. And another thing that kind of caught our attention is that Hennessy Carolina has been into it with him. She's been on his page going in on him and, you know, clowning him and stuff like that. Um, she's also been caught in his DMs because he's taken screenshots of them going back and forth. And then also That's So Beyonce um, also posted that Hennessy Carolina was following his page and lurking. Um, so we really believe that the person who's behind the page is that so Khalil and not Kyle from the Shade Room, okay? Because that so Khalil also announced that he's doing a podcast and he's going to be doing some stuff with Nia Lee. So those are the conclusions that we came up with. Um, so, I mean, am I saying that Kyle is 100% innocent? He can't be involved? No, I'm not saying that, but I really believe in this instance from the two and two that we put together that she said the wrong name. She called out the wrong person. And like I've always said, um, you know, to Cardi, and even to Nicki Minaj, at the end of the day, both of these women are incredibly blessed. They're incredibly blessed to be doing what they love. They're making money. You know, they're doing them. And, you know, Cardi needs to stop responding to everything online. She needs to stop allowing the negativity to get to her. Now, I understand, you know, having an off day and having to address some shit. We all do that, okay? Trust me, I understand. You know, but when it becomes a constant thing, when it becomes where you're constantly, constantly, constantly having to, um, you know, speak on the negativity or speak on the barbs. You know, after a while, it just starts to look bad. And then it just gives them more ammunition. The best ammunition you can do, just ignore the fuck shit. You know, people are always going to have something to say. People are always going to have an opinion. But again, the only one that you control is yourself. So it's all about how you handle it. So I think that at this point, she needs to focus on her single. She needs to focus on promoting that. She needs to enjoy her best life, have time with calls and everything else and not focus on these you know bloggers and these pages making fun of her because again let's keep it real a lot of these pages are cool with certain celebrities more than they are with other celebrities. You know, Jason Lee of, of Hollywood Unlocked is very close to Cardi B. They have a genuine friendship, and that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So Jason Lee has a friendship with her. They're very close. He doesn't have that same rapport with Nicki Minaj, and that's okay. Kyle Anthony has a, and I hope I'm saying his last name right, um, he has a very close relationship with Nicki Minaj. They're very close. They hang out. You know, he's gone out to meet her. He's done things with her. And that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, people are going to call themselves journalists. Then yeah, you have to be unbiased. You have to just, you know, post the facts and things like that. Now, if you want to be a commentator, now that's a whole different thing, okay? With a commentator, yes, you can, you know, be unbiased, but then when there's certain things you see and you feel a certain way, that's the point of commentary. So some of these bloggers need to decide, do they want to be commentators or do they want to be journalists? And if they want to be journalists, then they just need to post the facts and leave their opinions out of it. Now, if they want to be commentators, they can have opinions all day. And I think that's where that fine line gets drawn, especially Especially with Jason Lee because he also has a YouTube channel you know he gives his opinion he does commentary but then you're also running a blog so that's the thing with a blog it's supposed to be very unbiased and you know very unobjective and sometimes he crosses that line as do a lot of other blogs you know you can see the ones who are closer with Nicki Minaj and how, how sometimes they favor her more you can see the ones who are closer with Cardi and how sometimes they favor her more you know and sometimes Sometimes it's hard to like 
toe that line. You know, I definitely get it, especially if you have, you know, somewhat a relationship with that person. But to me, I don't care what the relationship is. You know what I'm saying? Right is right. Wrong is wrong. And um, I feel like in this instance that Kyle is being blamed for something, um, for particularly running this fan page, and I don't think that he's running that page. I believe that it's this young man that sold Khalil. And with that being said, you know, it's America. They have the right to post what they want and to say what they want. Again, the only thing she can do is ignore it and just focus on her music and focus on doing her. So that's my opinion on all this mess and drama that's going on. Her new single is Money. Here goes a snippet of it if y'all want to check it out. I need cheese for my egg. All y'all bitches in trouble. Bring brass knuckles to scuffle. I heard that Cardi went pop. Yeah, they go pop. Pop. That's me busting their bubble. Right, so you guys just heard that snippet. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Are you guys feeling the new single? How do you guys feel about it? And then how do you feel about Cardi B addressing the barbs and then also calling out the shade room and Kyle Anthony about the entire situation? And like I said before, I don't care if you're team Barty, if you're team Barb. If I see somebody being accused of something and it's not true, I'm going to take up for them. I don't care if he's a Nicki Minaj fan. I don't care if him and Nicki Minaj is best friends. From what I see, he's not the one running that fan page. And it's unfair that people are attacking him and accusing him of such. So whenever I see somebody getting accused of some shit, I'm going to take up for them if I can pull receipts showing that they're not behind something. The same way I took up for Cardi when she was being accused of stuff as well. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.